I've installed Project Infinity X Custom ROM on my Xiaomi phone, which is based on Android 16. With the help of this video, you'll be able to install this custom ROM on any Android device easily and without facing any complications. Now, let me quickly walk you through some of the best features of this ROM that truly make it next level, such as Play Integrity Bypass, along with several other advanced functionalities. If I cover all of them in detail, this video will become quite lengthy, so let's focus on getting it installed first. Without wasting any time, let's get started first and foremost, we need to enable USB debugging. But before we do that, we need to unlock developer options on your phone. Head over to phone settings and open the about phone section. As you can see here, my device is currently running on Android 15. Now go back and scroll down. Look for the build number and tap on it seven times in a row. After the seventh tap, you'll see a message pop up saying, you're now a developer. Now go back to your main system settings. You'll notice developer options has appeared in the menu. Open that up. Inside developer options, check if your bootloader is unlocked. If it's not, don't worry. I've got detailed videos on my channel showing exactly how to unlock it. Once you've confirmed that, find USB debugging and turn it on. Okay, next step. Now to boot your phone into fast boot mode, turn off the phone and as soon as the screen goes black, press and hold power and volume down button together. By doing this, your phone will now enter fast boot mode successfully. Open whatever browser you prefer on your computer and search for platform tools. In the search results, go to the official website and download complete this, also by following these steps. I have provided the direct download link of all these files and tools in the descriptions. Next up, search for Project Infinity X in your browser. Open the official Project Infinity X website from the search results. Locate and click on the Download Now button. Here, you'll see a list of major smartphone brands. If your device is a Redmi, select Redmi. If it's Samsung, select Samsung. Or simply choose whichever brand matches your device. After selecting your brand, scroll down and carefully select your exact device model. For example, my device is the Xiaomi Note 11 Pro, so I'll be selecting that specific model. Now you'll see two available options, Android 15 and Android 16. We need to select Android 16 and click on the download button. A new window will pop up, click on files and download the latest ROM build available. Since mine is already downloaded, I'll just cancel this for now. Now, you have to extract all these files. I will do these steps quickly because it takes time. After the extraction is complete, open the Platform Tools folder, click on the address bar at the top, type CMD. By doing this, your command prompt will open. After the command prompt opens, connect your phone to the PC via a high-quality USB cable. In the command prompt, type the first command, fast boot space flash, space boot, then drag and drop the boot.img file directly into the command prompt window and press enter. Once that process completes, type the next command, fast boot space boot, again, drag and drop the boot file and press enter. Your phone will now automatically boot into recovery mode. In the recovery menu, select factory reset. Tap on factory reset once again to confirm. Then. Select Format Data to wipe everything clean. Once that's finished, navigate back and select Apply Update, then choose Apply from ADB. Now, switch back to the Command Prompt window and verify if your phone is being detected via ADB. Type ADB space devices and press Enter. If you can see your phone's serial number displayed, that confirms your device is connected properly. Now, it's time for the final command, type ADB space sideload, drag and drop the ROM zip file into the command prompt and press enter. Sometimes you might encounter an error with this command. If that happens, don't panic at all. Simply repeat the exact same command once more, ADB space sideload, drag and drop the ROM file again and press enter. This time, 
The installation process will begin smoothly. The installation may take a few minutes, so stay patient and let it complete without interruption. And there you have it, congratulations. Project Infinity X Android 16 Custom ROM has been successfully installed on your device. Your phone will reboot automatically, and once you complete the initial setup, you'll be able to enjoy all the cutting edge Android 16 features, along with the custom enhancements that come with this ROM. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.